Hey guys, welcome back to TNT Living. Today we're just doing a little bit of fishing. We got some new poles. Um, <clears throat> I got a new bait caster from Cabela's Mega Cast Fast Action Pole. My first bait caster, so I'm learning how to use it. Did some tutorials, trying to get familiar with it. Uh, pretty excited though, so it's the first time using it. Also got my boys, the Bros Productions. If you haven't subscribed to them, subscribe to them. I'll put their link in the description below. But yeah, wish us luck. It's cloudy, overcast, just had a big storm pass. Uh, we're gonna definitely try it out today. I'm using this toad. There you go. So just trying for some bass fish. So uh, just an update here. Bass fishing isn't turning out the way I intended. Hey, if you guys are experts with bait casters, uh, leave me some comments, um, maybe some links on videos I could watch um, to get a little better at it. Like I said, this is my first uh, bait caster rod. And I already snapped the line again. It got ribboned up, so I had to redo it. I'm going to have to redo it. I'm going to try to do some uh, lure uh, cat, um, trout fish. Maybe some walleye with it, but um, I'm just having issues adjusting the, I know there's the brakes, and then you have the, the tension right there, the, te the real tensioner. So, man, it just, it's, for a beginner, it's just really tough to, uh, to learn that. So if you guys have any pointers, man, drop it in the comments. I would appreciate it. We're going to go to the other side, uh, another lake here, just uh, a few... Uh, a few steps down here so we'll see how that turns out hey guys so a little update here I don't think me and the bait caster are compatible for one another um, I thought I was gonna have a good time out here using it breaking it in and just kept ribboning ribboning it up um, I was trying to calib calibrate different lures uh, even try to do a little bit of um, trout fishing on it uh, dang things just so sensitive so like I said if you guys use that man I'll appreciate any comments any feedback anything like that uh, but for now I think um, it's gonna be um, a spinner a spinner uh, wheel for me so real so I think I'm just gonna uh, have to go get me a, an updated a newer spinner and uh, just work with that for now maybe practice more with the bait caster I don't know I'm not ready to retire it just yet just a little frustrated but uh, meantime a little one over here got us out I mean it's beautiful look at this view it was stormy earlier just crazy winds like 40 50 mile an hour winds with rain and now look seven seven o'clock uh, you couldn't ask for anything more so even though I'm not having a good day fishing man I sure enjoy the outdoors and coming out here and just relaxing here in nature spending time with uh, my kids and just just hanging out so uh, but we are gonna do a clean and cook on his fish hopefully he gets more so stay tuned we'll get that and um, get it cooked up and we'll all have a sample of it check back with you later <laughs> so we just moved over here to the side of the lake for some trout fishing before I could get mine rigged up Look what little man caught. Let's see, lift that bad boy up. That's a good sized trout right there. Bait, not even what? Like, not even five minutes. Yeah, not. Look at that. It's probably about a 14 incher, 16 incher maybe. Good job, buddy. All right, here we go. It's number two. Let's see what he got. Oh, that looks like another good one. Keep it tight. Grab it, Zeke. Oh my gosh. Get it, Zeke. <laughs> Oh, Junior! <laughs> Another one. I think I broke a hook. It broke my hook, yeah. Dude, he almost got off, Zeke. That's right. Good That's job, right. bud. I covered him. Wow. Let's measure this one up. Wow. What is that? That's like a. Oh, he has it in his mouth. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What color is he? I'm gonna go get the thing. It's like a brownish. No, he's a rainbow. He's definitely a rainbow. Good job, buddy. Quit moving. So just checking back in here, um, 
Little guy still got two fishes. That's the champ right there. Uh, other boys striking out. I'm striking out. I'm not fishing. Got my bait cast right there. I'm going to land up getting a spinner rod and just rigging it up. We'll be back out here. But we're thinking about doing a uh, catch, clean, and cook. So you guys stay tuned for that um, to show you how we cook the, our fish. So, But check this view out. Man, look at that. It's about 75 degrees. Nothing but the wind and trees. Beautiful. But yeah, you guys stay tuned. We'll uh, get these cleaned up and, and cooked and we'll get to try them out. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're back. We're back um, and we're just gonna measure these fish because my son believes he's got the biggest fish of the season so far. Go to put the camera right over here. Let's right on so we can see. Right there, and we'll measure it. From the Rudy to the Tootie. Let's see. That one's a little over 12 inches. That one's almost almost 14 inches. Good job, buddy. So we're just gonna clean it. And then we'll do a, a cook. You guys comment. Let me know what kind of recipes you guys do use with your fish. Uh, we have a fryer, an air fryer. I want to try and just put some lemon and stuff on there too. So we'll give that a whirl. Here, go ahead and hold it right here. Give it back to my camera person so I can clean it. Let's go over here. Just start right here from the orifice. I should have sharpened this knife. Matter of fact, let me sharpen it here. This thing's tough to cut. Stop. Okay, so I sharpened the knife. That knife couldn't cut a couldn't cut an apple. But anyway, so we'll start over here. You just cut right here from the orifice all the way up. right here under about right under the chin and then you see these two lines right here Just put your knife through pop it out just kind of cut it then you're gonna put your finger your thumb right through there hold the bottom jaw hold the top jaw everything should be coming out Okay, so I'm gonna start with another one. That other one was giving me difficulty. So we'll do it again. You just start from the um, the little orifice below. Cut right up to the right up to the chin. Then you see these little little gills under the jaw. You cut that. Okay. Then you just put your thumb, finger, whatever you want to do in there and you can just pull everything out everything comes right out easiest way to clean then you just get the um, the bloodline we'll clean that so let me get this cleaned up and let me go ahead and get this one cleaned up and um, we'll go ahead and get these cooked